Okay, so we're here with the CEO of the Fairfield oh, Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just my blog. Nobody, nobody watches it. Nobody watches it. We had a full morning of conference calls dealing with uh, six, seven, 12, 13 projects or so. Lots of projects that are in design that um, are just kind of getting close to being able to be permitted. Um, but these projects have been kind of in queue for an, a year, year and a half in and out of the hands of a few different contractors and so we're coming in to clean up some of these drawings so conference calls with engineering team um with customer um with our internal team um creating plans of attack for each site and so i did that a lot of calls working on some uh, um, estimates cost estimates for some of these newer sites team call this morning turn left onto travis boulevard um, another call this morning. Oh, that's my left hand turn. Welcome to America. Never learned how to drive. Big project we're working on. It's the first of 90 gas station sites in California that uh, is a, is a mar la large multinational uh, gas uh, station owner or, or uh, petroleum company. So um, 90 locations for them. We're on the first three and uh, one of them is in design stages right now with utility so uh, coordinating with them best plan of attack to get power to those sites so that's kind of been a full morning of going back and forth with that now we are headed to the beautiful city of Fairfield where all your dreams are made and uh, I'm excited because we're going to see an old friend who is the, uh, the chairman or CEO of the uh, Fairfield Chamber of Commerce, uh, Mr. Anand Patel, um, and um, he I've known since seventh grade, sixth or seventh grade. We had PE class together when the Young MC Bust a Move song came out, and we would uh, run with our Walkmans listening to Bust a Move, uh, we'd run the mile. And um, the mile was an off-campus thing, so we would run past his parents' hotel that they owned every day. And um, that's kind of my earliest memories of Anand. So yeah, we're gonna go say hi to him, hopefully, at the Chamber of Commerce. Probably get a couple cocktails with him tonight, catch up, and then um, Pull a permit, hopefully, if things go as planned. Mile. Turn left onto Utah with, Street. Um, the city of Fairfield, because they've decided that turn they right want to invest the street. in then turn right onto EV street. charging as well. So, um, pop in, say hi to on, and then go to um, upstairs to the second floor. Um, beg for mercy. Stop pull turn a permit, right and then we are right off to the races building. Uh, another site that will grow the network of America's largest EV charging station. So tell me a little bit about um, how you learned how to do your drones stuff. Uh, I bought it on eBay and I flew it in my front yard for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then a month later, I got a job with you. Did you crash it? <laughs> Seriously? No. no. Did you crash it ever? No, I have not. You've, You've crashed right. your buddies, You're just right. not yeah. you. <laughs> Pretty much. No, I've never, I've never crashed. I'm too scared to take like big risks with it because it's kind of pricey. Here we are. We are uh, downtown Fairfield at City Hall. <laughs> Um, Chamber of Commerce is located here as well as um, the building department where we're going to go try to pull this permit. So, let's do this. All for the greater good of building America's largest EV charging network. Day in the life of a small town CEO or something. <laughs> Thank you. 
Some um, building plans. Do you guys? Can you guys make copies of these? Yeah, over there. striking out of uh, what we wanted to get accomplished did not get accomplished. We uh, tried to get the city to fast track this thing because of some delays. First didn't happen. So I'm going to walk into the Chamber of Commerce office and uh, uh, get in front of the CEO and ask him what he's doing over here with the city. Come on, end up on you charging. Okay, so we're here with the CEO of the Fairfield oh, Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just my blog. Nobody, nobody watches it. Nobody watches it. How you doing? How you doing? Christian. Nice, to nice to meet you. You know, I'm not going to be mad at the city of Fairfield. They run a good, clean business, and you can't hate on that. Sometimes chips just don't fall in line with where you want them to lay or something like that. I don't know. Oh well. So yeah, this is a major delay. This project's been two years in the making. And here we go with yet one more delay. Three to four weeks in initial plan check. And then they'll submit responses and I'm sure they're gonna have some responses because we've been pushing on them pretty hard to help us out with this project. Got a couple more quotes to finish up. Um, we call them quotes in the industry. It's kind of a standard. <laughs> Nick shaking his head. Like, don't break down the industry. All right, let me break down my industry. I've basically been uh, in the electrical world for 15, 16 years. Um, kind of fell into it. You know, turns out I'm pretty good at it. No big deal. It's me patting myself on the back. <laughs> We're gonna go do some quotes and check out a local brewery tonight, possibly. Maniac today because I gotta actually do real work in my laptop. And I can't afford to have it bouncing all over the place. So we are headed to Placerville and. Uh, Placerville is one of my favorite cities in America. Not really. I, I don't know why I said that. But uh, <laughs> it's my favorite city today because the city of Placerville is going to final uh, sign off on our final inspection. Um, and that's one more win for the good guys after today. I'm, I'm speaking it into existence right now. So uh, ETA approximately 49 minutes. Um, final inspection scheduled, uh, I think it'd be four hour window to be there between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. So hopefully it gets there uh, early, we get it knocked out right away. Team CCPS is out there just putting the full court press on to get the, the, the end of the fiscal year closed out for our customer. Um, we've got five or six sites that are this close to being able to close out submit for reimbursement, turn them over to the California Energy Commission. Um, big, big win for electric vehicle charging station infrastructure.
I'ma give it all I got, all I got Like 23, I stay on top, stay on top I do it like it's my last shot, my last shot We grinding every day, ain't no other way I'ma give it all I got, all I got Like 23, I stay on top, stay on top I do it like it's my last shot, my last shot Are we on? Yep. All right, we handled business today. Another one online, another win for the good guys. Today's completely different from yesterday. Yesterday was a big failure, today is a big success. What you have here, I'm still rolling, so walk with me. Okay. I'll show you what we <laughs> did today. These charging stations, we just had to kind of meet some compliance, uh, some compliance for the, the city. And so, they required a, a special sticker on this cabinet. This cabinet basically takes PG&E's power and puts it into this. There's a meter there so it tracks how much power is being used, but then also it distributes the power to the electric vehicle charging stations. Um, they required us to have this fault current sticker on there and it just tells, you know, what the fault current is uh, in amps and the date that the calculation was made. So. Um, super small thing that needed to be done to just get this thing buttoned up. But now that it's done, 100%, we could sign off and send the bill. Easy money. The big find of the day is, can you guys see this? Let me zoom in on that. There it is. Base camp, nutrition. The journey is the goal. I like it. That's 100% in line with everything that I believe in. Uh, Basecamp, two beautiful people that are freaking awesome own this place. They just opened it in Placerville. And the whole idea is just meal replacement shakes and um, super highly nutritional uh, um, products, whether it's teas um, or or just uh, you know protein powders and shakes. But it's an amazing place. I had a banana uh, cream pie shake which tasted like a dream, um, but it was healthy. So um, th those two can coexist. Healthy, um, sweet snacks. It was delicious. So congratulations, Base Camp Nutrition. Hope you guys uh, have a awesome journey and everything you're doing is 100%. So good luck. I'ma give it all I 